Hey guys, Timo the Hobo here. So it didn't stop raining yet. Uh, the weather in Switzerland, I don't like it. Let's hope it gets warmer soon. Uh, yeah, my last warm days, I spent them in the Algarve after a 40 hour ship ride back from the Canaries, which was way more fun with two friends than alone. And yeah, then we went to Portugal without even knowing if we would get in because Portugal's border was closed at that time. But with a little trick we got in and we spent some last days in the sun in the Algarve and it was beautiful. We also went back to my favorite spot and we went cliff diving again and it was so fun. Back at the cliff dive spot in the Algarve, I finally did this jump, like a flip over this three meter gap. I was super scared, but afterwards I felt so good, although I fucked up the landing. Yeah, after that, I started my way back. I got on the first day until Peniche, and some friends of mine who were there uh, welcomed me and also invited me for vegan sushi which was really nice thank you guys and after that the next day after a short surf session in the morning I went further to North Spain in North Spain I had my last night in Lalita in a beautiful spot beside of a river and well then on the next morning out of the blue my van made a super unsatisfying noise i went to mechanic the first two were closed because of covid and the third one said i have uh, engine damage so yeah i think let's go one month back when i landed on the street yeah my van has uh, engine damage couldn't go further with it so right now i'm sitting here on the street and waiting Someone take me to France! So, after only 30 minutes of waiting, uh, an Austrian couple, they brought me to Burgos and they told me some stories of their travels when they were young. They were with the van in Indonesia in 71. So when there was not too much tourism, they said it was awesome. So yeah, let's see how I get further. So I waited for two hours at the street and was waiting for someone to take me, but I couldn't find anyone. So I decided to go by train to San Sebastian. Now I'm waiting here on a super empty train station for my train. just took the train to Irun and yeah now it's time to try to cross the border to France let's see how this works I easily got a ticket for the train to Hondai over the border it's like a little train the seller told me though there is a lot of police in Hondai so I hope I will not be sent back when I arrive there but yeah we will see well, I did it. Ah, I'm in France and already in a TGV. I was so nervous. <laughs> I was so nervous getting out of this train and seeing like five police people there. I was like, okay, I will be sent back. Also, the police is controlling on the street for these tests. That's why I was a little bit too afraid to do some hitchhiking and just went for a ticket for the next train to Paris. So next stop is Paris. I arrived in Paris. Unfortunately, there is no train leaving to Switzerland today. So, spending the night in Paris and maybe I can see the Eiffel Tower.
yeah, I'm now in the last train before I finally arrive in Switzerland. It was definitely an adventurous travel, but it was actually pretty much fun. Back in Switzerland. One last train to burn and I'm finally home. Fuck that rain. I only told a few people that I come back. So I wanted to surprise most of my friends. Unfortunately, it didn't work at all. I thought everybody would be home and doing like home office or studying over Zoom. Uh, well, nobody was home except of one group of friends which worked pretty well. And also my family, I could surprise them pretty nicely. So this is the last video that comes weekly. I actually wanted to do some trips here in Switzerland. The weather doesn't want me to do it, I think. But yeah, soon some new adventures will come. If you want to see some adventures from me here in Switzerland, subscribe to my channel like always and tune in next time. See you guys! Bye!